This week, the Syracuse skyline, at least in one direction, is changing probably for years to come. The new naming sponsor of Syracuse University's Dome will get its letters J.M.A. hung high on the famed arena. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan takes us to the epicenter of the installation. Just passing by on the highway probably underestimates their size. Up close, it's easier to see how big JMA will be on the side of the dome. I think it'll look good from 81. <laughs> it will. It will. It's hard to miss. He's a man of few words because Scott Moyer from JPW is more focused on getting the sign pieces up 200 feet. Working backwards, one crane first lifts the A into place. Next, the M and then J hung from brackets, about 32 tons of weight total that need to be lifted 200 feet from the ground. Yeah, I think if people ever knew what JPW did outside of Syracuse, it's amazing. From the A's rings to the word dome that will go underneath, the sign will be 48 feet top to bottom, about the same height as some other highly visible letters. The letters are all so big they can't come in a tractor trailer on the back of a tractor trailer um, together. So even, even the a came in separate pieces. Hear that? Almost no wind, at least not a lot high atop this hill. The weather conditions have to be perfect for the workers to get up in that basket. So it's 48 degrees up there on the Crown Trust. Dome director Pete Sala had a weather station installed on top of the stadium so his phone can show precisely what it's like up there. We just scroll to this, all of us right here. You can look at the last 10 minutes, what the highest gust has been. You can look at the 10 minute average. It's been three miles an hour. OSHA standards won't let workers dangle from the basket if gusts are near 20 miles per hour. After predictable weather delays, They'll work as many days this week as possible. What if you're off center? <laughs> At this point, <laughs> we're, we're in trouble. But you won't um, be. Too many people are watching, and the process is too precise. At Syracuse University, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. So that's the west side of the dome. The east side facing campus will get a transformation in the years ahead, too. Syracuse University recently submitting plans to the city of an expansion called the Myron Victory Court. A new entrance and concourse space, Pete Sella says, will bring a new fan experience competing with brand new stadiums. It'll connect the Dome and the Barnes Center next door.